this is a, a, a this project that I'm working on is the translation of uh, of the work of Hugo Pratt and the work he did on his character Corto Maltese. Uh, Hugo Pratt uh, started his career early in Italian comics in the, uh, immediately after World War II. But for a period he lived in Argentina, the market was better than And when he returned in the mid-60s in Italy, he uh, appeared with the adventures of this sailor Corto Maltese. And I mean, at least in Italy and in Europe, it's one of the most well-known characters of, of adult It's It's going to be a long project because there is a, a, at least 12 volumes. I just uh, completed the first volume, the translation of the first volume, so this is going to keep me busy uh, for a while. But, but for me, it's a, it's a special opportunity uh, because not only I love Hugo Pratt and I love uh, what he did with the medium of comics, the revolution he brought about to the medium of comics, but also because of sentimental reasons. Yeah. Corto Maltese, uh, I started reading Corto Maltese as a kid, and in fact, this is the first book that uh, I got of Corto Maltese, which came out in 74, as you can see, it's, it's well loved, because <laughs> I've been reading from this early edition since I was uh, uh, six, really. And, uh, and so for me, it's really important to work on this project, which will bring uh, Corto Maltese translated uh, in English to the American readers for the first time. When, when, when the character appeared in the mid-60s in Italy, it really uh, talked to, to the reader, the adult or young adult readership of the time. You know, we're close to 68, the first student protest in Italy, and that sort of culture. And Corto Maltese was a different kind of adventure here. And the stories are set, the first stories of Corto Maltese are set uh, in the Caribbeans, and for the first time, at least in comics, uh, there was uh, uh, an intention of showing uh, these places from a different point of view, almost a, a, a post-colonial point of view very early on. The, the challenge here is to give back the sense of the language used by Hugo Pratt and the sense of the character. So, of course, in a way you have to be faithful to the original as much as possible, but at the same time you need to make the necessary modification too. I hope that this will uh, raise some attention towards Italian comics of the period. There is an there's a enormous wealth of, of wonderful authors that we had in Italy from the mid-60s until the end of the 80s that are virtually unknown. Uh, in the United States. As for the stories themselves, they really uh, presented an alternate history, uh, as I was saying, especially of those, those places where Corto Maltese visits uh, in his stories, the Caribbean and the uh, uh, discourse on colonization. Uh, that, that are particularly uh, interesting. The American comics they were so lively throughout their whole history until the, the late 80s. Uh, they're not very interesting anymore, exactly. They're, they're publishers that are doing great, great jobs. But most of the things that I'm interested in now are reprints. It's, it's the golden age now in America of reprints. A beautiful reprints, the one that uh, the uh, uh, Library of American Comics are doing, Fantagraphics. It's also a wonderful uh, publisher of reprints, and they're doing beautifully with uh, critical texts. And I think that's the most important stuff that's happening now.